show you just how easy it is to get started with AI bot and start generating your own uh, SQL queries. So if you click on the settings tab, um, you can see a few settings for the database schema. And you can see that there are basically three methods to import your database schema. That way allowing AI bot to generate highly accurate SQL queries for you and also SQL queries that requires way less effort from you and allowing you to formulate exactly what you want way more freely. Um, we will come to the, back to that a bit later. So the first method uh, is the preferred method. Um, that is, uh, you can paste the connection string and connect directly to your database, thereby allowing uh, AI bot to pull the database schema, only the database schema. We don't pull any data in the database directly from your database. So here we click and you can see it sets automatically um, the database engine. It says your database um, and it has the connection string uh, allowing you later on to run the generated SQL queries directly on your database and getting valuable um, business insights and data anytime you want. So if we click, click the tables tab, we can see that all the tables have been imported. So you have the actor schema, the actor info address and so on. And you can hover it to see the different fields uh, in that table. Uh, now when you um, write a query, it would automatically pick the tables that uh, are needed to fulfill that query. You can also choose to do this manually um, if you have for some have some specific requirements, but automatically is the um, default and recommended mode. So now we can simply um, write um, get me the actor with ID 13 and movies. And it would automatically um, write the query therefore, and we can also run the query directly on our database. That is super smart. Uh, and um, that's one way to do it. Um, if we just try to refresh the page here, um, we can see that we can also import databases via um, uh, SSV, CSV, sorry. Um, here you manually have to add the database name and then copy paste um, the database schema uh, from uh, CSV. We also added here uh, different queries that you can run directly on your database and uh, get the schema that you can then export as CSV. So let's try to do that for MySQL. We see the, um, the query here provided, so you can copy that. Go to the database interface, click uh, Connect. And we're going to use this one, uh, Shaquila. This is, and we just replace here, run the query, and then this here can you can either save this as a CSV file or if if it's allowed you can copy paste it directly as CSV as here. Um, so let's go back here, uh, Sakila, and then we copy paste the results in here and we add it. And now uh, we can see we are using the Sakila database that we just imported uh, with its schema. Um, we need to change the database engine to MySQL. This is just in case that there are some specific um, database engines query that you run, for instance, using uh, geo um, spatial data. Um, they are often uh, specific to the database engine. Um, so that's basically it. Uh, it's also a few clicks, a few seconds, uh, it's super fast, uh, and it has everything you need. So the table structure in the Shaquille is basically the same database as the DVD rental for Postgres. 
Um, and we can see that we have um, all the fields here. Um, now we can generate it here. And we get the same query. Uh, of course, we cannot run the query here because we just imported it um, via CSV and we don't have a database connection string. Um, yeah, that's the CSV. The manual way is um, where you basically type in everything manually. So we can say my database and it then has some suggestions to the structure here. So you can say you have a users table with ID, username, URL, image, and then a created at time field. And we can say we have a post table with ID, user, um, user ID um, as a foreign key, title, body, created at, and we can say we have a comments table, ID, it's also a foreign key to the user table, body created at, and maybe it has um, another one called is uh, banned, in case you want to ban the common. And we do like this, add it, and we can see the database is now updated here. We can always remove the databases here. All the databases are only stored um, locally in your browser. They never touch our server. Um, so let's close this. And we can see our new tables have been imported here. Of course, it's a different structure. Um, so let's see. Um, get me the users created this current month with all their comments and posts. And we can run the query and we can see it generates a query for us uh, with all the correct foreign keys. Uh, you can copy paste it and you can also save it as a snippet if you want. And yeah, that's basically it. So this is the three different ways um, to uh, connect with AI bot and ensure that you get um, highly accurate uh, SQL queries um, that doesn't require so much effort. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you for uh, listening in, guys. Um, if you see anything that's missing, please reach out to me. Uh, else, um, enjoy AI bot and uh, the data.